I feel very strongly in my spirit these last couple days that many of you uh, are battling some heavy discouragement and uh, just a lot of attack and need to be encouraged. So I want to encourage you with this word uh, that the Lord showed me in my in my own um, middle of the night, tossing and turning. I was crying out to the Lord because I have learned that the enemy, um, he doesn't play fair. And oftentimes he throws his fieriest of arrows in the middle of the night uh, or when you're laying up at night. And those discouragement, those doubts, those uh, those seeds of confusion and doubt and fear, he will often try to plant those or throw those at us in the middle of the night. Um, and I've learned this, and as I've learned this, I've learned that the best way to battle that is to, if I'm up in the middle of the night, to be in communion with my Lord, to, to connect with him immediately, right as I'm awakened, to engage with the Lord and with the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, what are you saying? Or, Lord, I need you right now. Or, Lord, I need your encouragement. And even if um, I'm facing great discouragement, to actually just turn it toward him and cry out to him. And so as I was doing that, he started to teach something, uh, teach me a phrase that I want to share with you. And the phrase is, I'm with him. And as I thought about, because um, oftentimes we battle um, with our own weakness and we struggle with the fact that we are weak and that we have moments, sometimes weeks, sometimes even years when we look at our lives where we've been weak, we've been vulnerable, we, we've said, Lord, I don't, I can't do this. I, I'm not strong enough for this. And we have, in our eyes, faltered before the Lord because we just haven't maintained um, this, this same awesome level of faith that we always want to have. And um, the Lord reminded me of something, this simple phrase that I believe he wanted to teach me so that when, when the enemy came at me with, well, look how weak you are, or look, oh, you're doubting, how could you doubt? And then, um, you know, try to encourage others to believe, or how could you, you know, you're so weak, or you're, you're not cut out for this, or whatever the lies that the enemy will try to throw at me, um, and sometimes he uses people, oftentimes he uses people to throw his accusations, his false accusations, to gossip or lie or um, look with disdain at me or at you. And we, and we know that there's these, uh, the, the, the enemy is using people to accuse us falsely. And um, the Lord said, just say I'm with him. And when I say him, I mean Jesus Christ. When we know that uh, our value, our worth, our identity is completely based on the reality that I'm with him. Um, all those lies, all those doubts, all those accusations, even if the accusations are based off of things that we've done in our past or mistakes or weaknesses we actually have, that simple phrase of I'm with him will shut down all of those lies. Or when you're facing something that you just don't feel like you're big enough for, or you feel like I want to obey you in this Lord, but I know I might mess it up on the, along the path. I might not always know what I'm supposed to do. Um, I might struggle with discouragement or doubt. Um, do you really want me? Have you really chosen me? And, and the reality is the Lord we can say, I'm with him. I am with the Lord of the universe. I am with the King of Kings. He is the one that stands in front of me and stands behind me and stands on either side of me and is the one that if anyone has a question about my identity, if anyone wants to accuse, falsely accuse, lie, gossip, uh, try to bring me down or get me off track of what the Lord is having me do, I can just stop and say, well, you know what? I'm with him. So if you have a problem, you can speak to him about it. And <laughs> there's something beautiful about that simplicity of what that phrase that he, he spoke to me. He said, 
just say I'm with him. And when and, and there's a comfort and a peace and a joy and an overwhelming, um, just abundant living when we stop and we remember that we are with, we belong to, we have been sealed by the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the creator of the universe, the one who is the very word of God that brought everything into creation, Jesus Christ. You, if you have made him Lord, if you are a son or a daughter of God, you are with him. And so any attack, any discouragement, any lie, any accusation, um, any self-doubt, self-questioning, fear, any of it, we can just say, you know what, talk to him. I'm with him. And that's what I wanted to bless you with today because it blessed me, it encouraged me, it reminded me that yes, I have been uniquely created with gifts and callings upon my life that he uniquely designed me to do and will finish the work he started in me to do that the 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 source of my strength the source of my faith the source of my ability the source of my endurance to keep going the source of my even of my love for him comes from him so i can shut down any uh, feeling or any fear or any lie with the simple phrase, well, I'm with him and he has my back. He is my banner. He is my foundation. He's the one you have to go through if you want to get to me because Jesus Christ is mine and I am his and he, I am uh, under him. I am with him and he is for me. And so I just want to encourage you to say those things to be uplifted in the Holy Spirit, to let the Holy Spirit minister to you as you let that soak in and just spend some time with the Lord today, letting him uh, remind you that you're with him. And if you have not made that decision to follow the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to have you just uh, reach out to me. Uh, you can email me or you can write a comment and I would love to pray with you. Um, and if you want to just pray that right now, you just say, Lord Jesus, I want to follow you with my life, make you the Lord of my life. I lay everything else down and I, I follow you with my life and Holy Spirit, I want you to lead me into all truth and you are the only way to the father. You are the only way to heaven and I am giving my life to you in Jesus name. Amen.